Ah! There, do you yeah, see it? Yeah. Is that a humpback? Whoa. <laughs> like Bill Gates. <laughs> Last week on Waldy Sailing, we spent some time exploring and waiting out weather in Port Hardy before motoring to Bull Harbor. On our way, we saw sea otters and experienced our first feelings of ocean swell. So we radioed the um, like just Bull Harbor to try to see if we can go ashore but nobody answered so we rode over to there's a boat um, that's just moored at the dock or just on the dock I guess so we talked to them they said that they haven't got an answer on the radio yet either so I'm not sure if it's just because um, it's kind of slow season or what but we haven't been given permission to go ashore unfortunately but Sorry, I say but a lot. So I'm, yeah, so we just, Lyndon started the fire and I'm making chicken fettuccine alfredo tonight, which is my fave. A, it's been a while since I've made it, so it's gonna be delicious. Today is the first day of, we'll be in open ocean and on the west coast. Yeah, I know, I'm so excited. Ah, I'm nervous, but it should be fine. We got just light winds forecast today, which is good and is bad. Um, it's good because it will just, it's one less thing to worry about uh, over this pass. and it bad because we're gonna have to probably motor the whole way but uh, we're gonna cross Nawiti Bar today there's another sailboat here which will be leaving with us today so we'll sort of I don't know buddy down with them we had him over for dinner last night yeah should be a good day we're gonna be in ocean swell slack is at uh, quarter after 10 so we're gonna head out around 9 I think hopefully Tiff's ready to go in time No further comment. And yeah, hopefully the sun stays out gorgeous. Woohoo, look at those blue skies. That is a wonderful thing to see. So we're fighting a little bit of a current, but other than that, conditions look great. Should be a fantastic day. <laughs> Not as scary now. <gasps> Nuwiti Bar has some extreme depth changes from five to 36 fathoms, or about 36 to 216 feet within a short distance. A five and a half knot current, Pacific swell, and wind, especially if it is opposing the current, make Nawiti Bar an extremely dangerous place to cross. Timing our pass for a light southwesterly wind and a slack to an ebb tide was critical for our transition. I feel like we're going through what could be considered our first squall. It's raining quite heavily. I'm just catching up on some reading. <laughs> there! Do you yeah. see it? 
Yeah. Uh, is that a humpback? That's a humpback, I think. No, is it? Yeah, that fin was small and like quite wide. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, that's a humpback. Oh my word. That was not that far away. Oh, he's back there. Oh yeah. Oh, tail! Oh, I thought there was gonna be a tail. Those are humpbacks! We saw humpbacks! That is awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Eighteen miles west of Nwiti Bar is Cape Scott, one of the great capes on the west, and the next hurdle for us to overcome. With swell and chop converging over this notoriously rough part of the coast, we were hit with extremely rough seas, and because the wind was light, it was unable to keep our sails full and thus provide us with some sort of stability. Hour six and a half had us completely exhausted and looking at Sea Otter Cove to tuck into for the night. But because of the rough sea state and the narrow entrance, we decided it was too risky. So we continued down the coast. but like 15 to 17 knots of wind on the nose the whole time and I think that's making this really uncomfortable. We're not 100% sure why. It's so uncomfortable, right? The winds were forecast to change from blowing from the south to blowing from the north at about midday, but unfortunately that didn't happen. Knowing that our destination was at least another five hours away, we didn't have the energy or the time to deviate off course and raise our sails. This has been the roughest, worst trip we've ever, ever done, and it's been the longest trip. I've been nauseous like the entire time. Well, no, since Cape Scott. What hour is it? We left at nine, so it's nine hours in. Nine hours of this, no. How long of this? Probably seven hours of this. Six hours of this. was beginning to descend on the horizon, we finally made a turn into Quatsino Sound and towards our destination of North Harbour, which is just south of Winter Harbour. Ah! We made it! Oh, this is so much nice, nicer. Shut that off. 
Oh, oh wow. Eat it. Shower bag. That was a rookie mistake to leave that there. Oh, it's all covered in salt water. Yeah. So it's about Bed nine. Time. Huh? Bedtime. Bedtime. It's nine o'clock. Is it nine o'clock? No, it's like eight thirty. Eight thirty. So it took us almost twelve hours, eleven and a half hours of motoring. I hope I have a really good sleep. I feel like I'm gonna be too sore and like <laughs> my ears are gonna be ringing. What? I feel like I'm gonna be too sore and like my ears will be ringing all night long. What? Huh? I can't hear you, what? I'm not in the mood. <laughs> so we had two casualties in the trip. It's the wine glasses, it's not my mug, but they both fell. They, they just slid out. They wiggled Slip. right out of there. Smashed all over the counter. <laughs> so another another trip to the thrift store. Oh, nice hat head. So we basically we basically got back. <laughs> I feel like I look hilarious. My hair is so flat. So flat. I look like Bill Gates. <laughs> anyway, maybe I'll just. Yeah. Put the light behind my head. Um, we basically got back, ate dinner, we watched some, like a show, and Linden, Linden's already in bed. What do you mean already in bed? What time is it? Is it 10 o'clock? I, I don't think it's 10 o'clock. You're just so tired. <laughs> yes, anyway, we're both ex very, very tired we're after today. No, we are. Also, I am. I'm already getting ready for bed. Oh, it is almost 10 o'clock. What the light out. Crazy. It's the light out. So, yes. That's all I have to say. Good night. We'll see you in the morning. So we slept really well last night. It was really nice. We were so tired. <laughs> um, yeah, and our friend Josh made it, who was um, the guy that we met in Bull Harbor. So he got in like four, three or four hours after we did. So he was out there for a long time. But yeah, it was rough out there. Talked to him and confirmed that Yes, it was rough seas, and yes, we were smart to not go into Sea Otter Cove because of how the wind was blowing. So, it makes us feel good that we made the right decision. Rain, well, cold. We're going to Winter Harbor finally. I did a nice clean of the boat today, aired out a bunch of stuff. Gotta go get fuel and find some cell service so we can check the weather. Well, uh, technically, we need internet, but cell service will uh, We don't work. need it, we can check it on the radio. Oh, we're going for fuel. That's the only necessity. Winter Harbor is a protected fishing village that was given its name in the 1800s. In its past, it has been a winter village to four native bands. A crab and clam cannery along with a trading post were built in the surrounding lands in 1891, which then became a popular meeting place for whaling ships and local First Nations. Today, Winter Harbor is evolving from a commercial fishing hub to a sport fishing and ecotourism destination. The salmon and halibut fishing in nearshore waters is world class. And while Winter Harbor is a little bit more expensive, it does provide great one-stop shopping to reprovision and top up with water and fuel before continuing south. So we're back from getting fuel and we just got some milk because the store um, didn't really have anything. Didn't really have a lot, they're still like stocking the shelves and it was also quite expensive. Um, so we got some milk, came back, we met up with Josh again and he's gonna come over for, he said he made some homemade wine and I'm making cinnamon buns, so. Yeah, should be fun, he should be here soon. So, Lyndon's helping me make cream cheese icing. Homemade wine is always a little dicey, so. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully it's good. Hopefully. I got my dough rolled out. Gonna soak my raisins. Oh, there's a big rain cloud outside. Was it supposed to rain tonight? Yeah. 
rain cloud outside, but it's still sunny. Okay, this butter is ready for you. Okay, thanks. We hope you liked watching us in our first open ocean experience. And also, if you've been paying attention, we have now made it to the halfway point in our circumnavigation. We're very much looking forward to making our way along the west coast of Vancouver Island and showing you a few of the many beautiful places there are to visit. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to our channel. It not only will make sure that you know when the latest Wally Sailing episode drops, but it also helps us reach more people. And if you want more, check out our Facebook and Instagram pages, and also Patreon for real-time updates and other perks. Our patrons are the reason that we can keep these videos coming, so if you're a fan, click on the link on this end screen. We'll see you all here next week.